What's up, everybody? Mopar Matt back at it again. Yeah, it's that time of the year. Um, even though the world's going crazy out there, and I hope you all are staying safe, um, doing your social distancing and washing your hands a lot. You know, you got to keep safe. Um, and if you know anybody out there who does have this coronavirus, uh, uh, we're, we're praying for any, anybody who has it, you know what I mean? And a huge shout out to those on the front lines fighting it too. Um, but I'm here not just to show that I'm okay, and I'm hoping that you in uh, YouTube land are doing good. But also, I got a bunch of little stuff I want to show you guys. Uh, found some things I'm going to crack open to make up a nice little video here. Um, I know this first piece has been out there for a little while. And I finally was able to locate another one. And uh, I'm going to be putting it up for trade. For anyone who may or may not want it you know what I mean um, this guy Hot Wheels ID car TV series Batmobile and I'm, it does have the interior in it I of course I wouldn't be lucky enough to find one without it without the interior but I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that but it is fully factory sealed. Um, I'm, I'm mainly looking for the uh, the blue SRT Viper and the green Chevy Camaro. So keep that in mind if you if you do the ID game and you have either the Viper or the green Camaro and you want this one as a an extra, let me know. Next up, we got um, uh, a little piece here that those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you know what 9-11 means to me, um, especially my my mom's friend, Terry. Um, I, I found this car a little while back, and... Uh, I couldn't help but pass it up. I've been. I couldn't help it. I had to buy it. Um, this is the second version I have of this car. Uh, this is my perfect carded one that I'm going to keep carded for basically ever. Um, I have another version of that car already cracked open in my family's 9 11 display, which I'll put it. I'll share a picture of at the end of this video. Um, and plus there's another Hot Wheels car in there you might happen to recognize. Um, then, this little bad boy I found just last night while going to the food store. I always have to check. Too bad I couldn't have found the super that goes along with it so I could trade it off to one of you lucky people out there. But this is one of the few very few regular treasure hunts I can honestly say I have ever really wanted. There you go. Circle Trucker. This is definitely going to be going into a Protecto. But yeah. I saw the regular version of the Super Treasure Hunt. Um, along with that car. So, I know the Super Treasure Hunt is in that in the location where I found that other truck. Um, so hopefully, I'll be the lucky guy to find that uh, RX-7 Super, and so I can trade it off to one of you guys out there. Next up, we got a couple of green lights. Um, there's a number of Target stores out here in Jersey that have been getting them. 
and one of them just so happens to be on my way home from work when I do the car hauling um, so I stopped in one day <laughs> really <laughs> found this bad boy that big old uh, Bigfoot with the huge Firestone radials on it and I believe this is number 5640 on the production production number wise let me see here yeah this is number 5460 very high production number so guess what I'm cracking it open at the end of the video this one on the other hand the muddy version there you go as you can see the uh, the brown on the tires and the body um there you go now you get a really good shot of it um what you call it? like I was saying this one on the other hand I'm gonna keep closed because it's production number 200 something I, I literally can't read the last digit but as a surprise just so I had something to uh, fill time and space on this video um, I went digging through my what is it, what is it 826 pieces that are sorry 828 pieces that were for sale um, and uh, since none of it's selling anyways I said what the hell I'm gonna have some fun um, and I said what the heck I'm gonna open a couple things and uh, it this is definitely new territory me territory for me because I've never opened any of these before that's right gonna be setting some greenies free and the reason I chose this one in particular is because this is my first ever green machine find it is production number 865 as you can see from the sticker right there which of course is not gonna focus but either way this one is production number 1199 the Corvette Z06 looks like ugh, this camera looks like garbage but anyways <clears throat> so yeah guys that's it for the new finds I've been putting my collecting on hold wisely and pardon me by the way coffee <laughs> but yeah um, <clears throat> I've been putting my collecting on hold and uh, because money money can be spent on much more important things these days as far as I'm concerned but Time for the cracking to begin. First up, and I'm going to try to keep this as whole as I possibly can in case I don't have a display case for it just yet. There you go. Check that big old boy out. Is that cool or what? That is so cool. See, there you go. 040560. I was right, I could read through the plastic very well. Of course, you got your grill. Side panel. Your 
tailgate area. And the other side. Beautiful, very cool. And for now, I'll slide him right back into the package. Next up, we got the Corvette Green Machine. At least I know I have, a, I have a really good display area for this car, at least. Very cool. The one thing I won't crack open yet is a white lightning, because <laughs> I've been collecting for six odd years now, and I still have yet to find one in the wild. I only own one, but I'm not going to crack it open. There you go. Got the core of that. Now, the one I've been looking forward to the most. My very first ever green machine find. There you go, look at that bad boy. RT Hemi Challenger. Beautiful car. And of course, yeah, it's a greenie. Yeah, I cracked it. Oh well. <laughs> Very cool. There's that serial number. I don't know if you'll be able to read it or not. There's inside the engine bay. Hold on here. There you go. Let me see if I can get the hood on that bit to open. Yep, there we go. Hmm, how can I do that? There you go, guys. Inside the Corvette engine bay. So, yeah, guys. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, big shout out to everyone who, um, who watches my videos. Um, and of course, shout out to, uh, William Witters Jr., Keith Lee, I know you're out there, Keith, I'm pretty sure you'll see this video, um, James Shear, PJ, um, Seth, of course, Diecastomics, Chris, Go Go Daddy, where you at, buddy, um, shout out to everybody, um, yeah, you know, crazy times this that we're going through. You think about people, and you may not be able to contact them. Matt Slycord, you're you're in that list too, man. Um, I think about all you guys. Just please stay safe, okay? Now, once we get through this, maybe we can meet up. All right. But that's it for now. See y'all later. Bye.